welcome. This tutorial is for members of Calvary Baptist Church in Belvedere, Illinois. We want to just provide our church family with uh, the opportunity to still connect and know what's going on with the ministry during the statewide stay-at-home order. And we know that some of our church family probably are not very used to using computers, but this is a time where computers are very helpful. This is, uh, it, it still allows us to be able to do a lot of things with the ministry, even though we can't be meeting together in our building. So with that said, I'm just going to walk you through a couple things. And if you have a computer and you have access to the internet, just open up your web browser. And I'm using Firefox. You can use Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, whatever you're using. Open up your web browser and you'll see a search bar um, depending on what search engine you're using. I'm using Google. And just type in Calvary Baptist Church, Belvedere, Illinois, right there. Calvary Baptist Church, Belvedere, Illinois. And there's our website. Click on that and it'll take you there. And here is our church website. I'm just going to show a couple things about our website that are very helpful while we can't meet together. The first thing I want to show is this section here. We um, have been using this for a short time. It's special announcements. It just allows us to be able to give updates or whatever information we want to highlight and bring to people's attention. We also do have events listed down here. Um, we have a lot of other things. We have our event calendar under the under church here. But right here will be all of the most important and necessary information for people to notice. We have Pastor Lashley's message from last week. And you can find this also on our YouTube channel. And tomorrow we will be putting a new message here. Um, and also, obviously, we have the information about how our services are temporarily canceled until the stay-at-home order is lifted. And we are going to continue monitoring the situation, and we will get our services back up and running as soon as possible. For now, though, this is a really important part of our website that can provide necessary information. It'll be changing uh, in the coming weeks, and there will be things updates and different things posted here. So please be sure to check there. And then the other thing I want to highlight is this button here, give. So right on our homepage, we allow or we provide the opportunity for our church family to still be giving and supporting the ministry. You can also find uh, here we have giving and it just basically takes you to the same thing. It takes you to a page with a give button. So you can do the exact same thing right here on the front of our website. And before you click that button, I just want to show you something. If you notice in the um, address bar up here, you see this lock symbol. Before you ever type sensitive information into a website, uh, whether that's personal information or bank account and credit card information, always make sure that that site is secure. You always want to see this lock symbol. If you see a uh, like a padlock and it is not closed all the way or there's like a red line going through it, that means the site is not secure. Never enter information, uh, any sensitive information when you see the padlock is not locked. It is locked here. We can see that it is in fact um, secure. So it is safe to enter information. And the other nice thing about the way our online giving works is you don't, it doesn't take you to a different website, a different web page. It does it all right in our website. You see in the background here, our website is still here. So this is all being done within our own website. And again, you see the symbol here, it is secure to be able to type in sensitive information. And as you look at this um, overlay here, you see some basic sections. It has the give, 
and this just allows you to type in whatever amount you want and then to be able to designate it to whichever fund, general, mission, special. This uh, box here allows you, if you check that, it allows you to do recurring giving. So you can set it up to do every week, every two weeks, on whichever day you would like that to be done. And it'll just automatically take it out. If you don't want to do recurring giving and you just want to do a one-time gift, leave that box unchecked. Just type in your amount up here and designate it to the proper fund. You also will need to put in your first and last name and an email address. And when you put in an email address, this allows us to send a receipt to you automatically. So it's really important that you have an email address for the receipt to be sent to to record that the transaction went through. And we also, through this uh through our online giving, we are able to either do debit or credit card or bank account information. And both of these are done securely. Again, this is all being done safely, securely. And if you want to do your card, just type in the card number, the month and the year, and then that three digit CVC number that is on the back of the card. If you want to do bank account information instead of a card, you can do your routing number, account number and then just select individual and then down here we have um, a little box that allows you to cover the fees so anytime you do online giving there are transaction fees that are involved and this allows if you want to give us a hundred dollars um, it just allows you to be able to cover the however much it is two dollars and thirty cents so that you're not giving ninety seven dollars and seventy cents you're able to give one oh two thirty to cover those fees and it'll be a nice even number if you don't want to do that leave it on unchecked if you would like to just check the box and then this just allows you to um, allows the system to be able to remember your information. Again, it's a secure site. There's no risk here, but if you don't want it to remember your information, just simply leave it unchecked. Once you have entered all the information you need, which is the amount, designated fund, name, email, card, or bank account information, then down here, this will light up and there will no longer be a red circle there. It'll say however much you're giving, and you're going to be able to click on this button and the transaction will go through. So this allows you to, even though we don't, we're not able to be in our building and take offerings, you're still able to give and uh, support uh, the ministry. You can just X out when you're done. And that... Um, that just gives us a couple things that we can do, even though we're not able to meet together, we're still able to have ministry together and to know what's going on. So please check the special announcements section. Please uh, notice this button for giving on our homepage. We're going to continue to pray for our nation, our state our church, and each member of our church family. We're so thankful for each one. And we, uh, we just pray that everybody is doing well and that this will be used to glorify God. Thank you and God bless.